You know what time it is. The realistic player career mode here with Jesus Fabianski. Now with 79 overall and looking to come out here and break into the top 10 with Middlesbrough FC. Enough time wasted. I'll see everybody out there on the pitch, hopefully with a victory in our very first match. Here we go at the grounds and of course another day and it's time. You might see a bit of a different type of play from Fabianski today. I did get my Maverick abilities at 25%, but um, honestly, I'm not really inclined to keep it that high. Ideally, I would want to make it 50% um, heartbeat and 50% virtuoso. But today, Jesus Fabianski is on the pitch and getting ready for the win. Already looking great. A good turn. Back post. Back post. Ah, man, you gotta play it. I'm not too sure because I'm recording this video directly after episode nine. So we'll have to see exactly who the striker's name is. Latte Lea, I'm pretty sure it is. And he is explosive. Does the exact move you need him to. And he is gonna be a winger's wet dream, essentially. McTamaye now, and a good pass. Look at Everton. We know exactly what they're all about. Every time I play Everton, they put on a pretty good show um, on the offensive side of things. So hopefully, defense can hold up today and we can use that counter-attacking play style and look for big, big-time goals. Beto on a ball and a great play, hopefully, on defense. We played pretty good against that, uh, that Spurs matchup last episode. And of course, already Everton, a great slaughter pass across the face and the CBs can't do nothing about it. Wow! Beto, he's coming out with energy. Sharp trim, look at the crispy lineup. I like it, in a crisp pass as well. Nobody there in 17, abysmal. 17, that's his fault. Looking around, left and right, like where do I go? You don't see Van Dyke doing that unless he's picking a man up. But 17, man, come on. There it is, look at the touch now from Jesus. Leaving a man in the dust. It's that illustrious first touch that he has. And here he is dribbling through the man now, looking for the shot, and here it is. Ah, Karneski. I'm not gonna lie, this first touch ability has improved the ball control but I'm just not sure if he really needs it. Everton up on us already 2-0. Not exactly what you want to see to start the episode off, but trust me, I'm sure we're gonna have a lot more victories and a lot more woes playing with this Middlesbrough squad. Like, look at this. Look at the movement by these guys. Quick slotted pass and a goal. Good save. Good block. Get it away, Smith. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Jesus. Go, 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 go. Ugh. Good pace, good pace, change of pace. And a good step, it's gotta be goal. Got him. One more, finish, finish! Thank you, bro. We're gonna make sure he's the top scorer. I had to run down there at breakneck speeds, bringing a smile to my face. You know I like to assist my teammates. And this man right here, Emmanuel. This dude's a beast, look at how he touched. He spun off the ball like that, really let himself get to the left foot, sized the man up and a great finish right past the keeper's face too, aimed directly at him. That ball had to be moving at probably at least 80 kilometers. Or the passes actually, let me say, 34 passes, but a pass accuracy of 94%. So we're definitely hitting the mark on our passes, but we need to keep the ball moving. That's probably our greatest piece of kryptonite right now. Offside! Not offside, and uh, sorry for the ugly face, but God, look at this play. Oh, caught everyone sleeping on the day, and at least we're losing with some fire plays, okay? I'm not gonna lie, usually we lose to some bull, but today it looks like we are gonna be losing the game to some higher quality players. I mean, it's just not your day, you know? Beautiful pass, now looking for the ball. Here it is, trying to make the play, no luck. Bit surprising, and now this is probably our last shot to even get anything going. Ball played up, and it could be a goal. Oh! What a set-piece cross. Jesus Fabianski has been turning it up, and today, a disgusting loss to Everton. You know, we can't win them all, and at least we got that undefeated, you know, thing out the way last episode, so now when we take a loss, it doesn't hurt us as much. But thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see everyone back the main menu all right and here we are so I'm pretty sure we had in that one match we get the one drill and then because of the one assist we also get another now I'm not really sure where to go but I definitely definitely want to do some heartbeat training so we'll get our vision up and our short pass and hopefully that'll allow us to keep nutmegging our opponents like last episode once again 
If you did not watch last episode, I recommend going back to watch that one. A glorious debut in the Premier League. But matter of fact, let's check out some of the news. All right, I guess there is no news, but Middlesbrough right now we are sitting at 13th place in the table. We definitely need to pick it up because look at the top of the table right now. Ashton Villa, that is where I should have went probably. 5-0, and oh, they're tearing it up right now and hopefully we do not have to face them coming up soon. It's going to be a good match though versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. I'm pretty sure it is. Versus the Borough. It's that time, Middlesbrough FC stepping back out there on the pitch. And this is our lineup. McCreegy. Oh, excuse me. Latela, Azaz, McCreegy, Balazar, Housen, Fabianski, Mina, McNair, Leinhan, Bangara, and Glover in net today, which definitely worries me. 65 overall. Ooh, it's going to be drastic. I'll see everyone out there. And here we are once again. Jesus Fabianski steps out on the pitch representing Middlesbrough FC. Now, I'm not going to lie. I did hear uh, Derek Ray say Barra. Let me know down below the correct pronunciation. Is it Middlesbrough? Is that how they say it in the UK? Let me know so I can get the correct pronunciation. Wolverhampton, this is a match we can win today. If we don't win it, you know, I'm definitely looking for a victory, but I'd be very disappointed if it was not a win. This is a team that honestly cannot compete with us because we know our talent and we saw what we could do against Spurs, but Totti already making a great challenge. Oh my gosh, Glover. Man, he's on his P's and Q's. I say that quite a bit about the goalie that make the save, but he definitely is. He's ready for the short pass. And look at him again. What a play. Come on, come on. Get there, get there, get there. Good athleticism. Whoa, ref. What? Get out of here. Are you serious? Nah. Bro, that's, that's horse. Bro, that's horse, man. That wasn't a foul. We're going to have to see the replay on that one. Matter of fact, we're going to put that replay up right now. I would never usually do this, but look at this play, man. This is crazy. Did he even make contact with the ball? What? Come on, on a dime. And he takes me at the whole play. Jesus Fabianski got torn up, no call, and they come right back down. Nementia, what a beautiful goal. I mean... Was it really that great? Hell no. It was not. Oh, no way. We're taking a loss. Come on, come on. Let's move, let's move, let's move. What? Let me keep playing, ref. Crazy, man. Middlesbrough. It's a tough life out here playing with this team. As long as we can avoid relegation, I know for a fact we can find better pastures, greener pastures, with much room to grange, so to speak. So hopefully we just put together a few wins in this episode. I'm probably going to play the whole month in this one. So stay tuned for our next match. I'll see everyone when it's time for it in the next one. Where legends are made. We are live from the Keverbao Cup. One of the best venues to show your skill on the English stage. That in the FA Cup. Some of the oldest competitions in the world. So hopefully we come out here and keep prevailing. Because I'm not sure about the Premier League table. But the Carabao Cup could be ours. Wilson, that's a new person we've seen. Uh oh, damn. And here it is, a good turn from Jesus, man on his heels. Looking for the power shot, watch out. Holy crap, bit of a wild shot. And uh, I gotta remember, you can't curl that, curl that one around. But here he is, the Italian, 150 pounds, 5'9", 18 years young, already turning up in the Premier League, almost like Erling Haaland. I mean, he doesn't score too many goals, but man, he has every single, Every single ability on the pitch you need to score a goal, he can do it. He can go right foot. I mean, it's not the greatest right now, but he can finish with the right foot if we get lucky. <laughs> but the left foot is so dangerous, man. It's, it's messy ass, honestly. There it is. Good move, good move. What a pass. And there it is. What a save by Gribic. Wow, that's the last name. All right, here we go. Jesus Fabianski, the set piece master. Ball coming in, looking for the goal. Maybe. Ah, no luck. We know about his set pieces, and we're prepared. Let's go, let's go. Drive, 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 drive. Good dribble. Good pull back. What a move, what a move. Damn. Come on, y'all. Turn up. Wow. Not what you wanted to see before the end of this half. Archer goes down and scores a quick goal right on us. I don't know how much time we have left, but Jesus Fabianski says, wait a minute. Looking for the assist now and a great touch. Lath on the ball still. 
looking for a goal and that is the half in the books. This is the third match, so I think I'm gonna keep it four matches simply because there's four weeks in a month, right? So we'll pretty much do one match every week, essentially. Now it might not always line up because um, I'm pretty sure those last two matches we played were in the previous month. We just need a goal, man, come on. Hell no, 85th minute, come on. Come on. Everything you got, Frank. Let it fly! That's God looking down and said, you know what? Y'all deserve to keep playing. Holy crap. What a finish from Jesus Fabianski. He's been working on that shot. Not even a power shot. This isn't even a power shot, everybody. 22 meters out. Just quick up and down motion. And look at the manager. You can tell he's very upset about that one. Sheffield United on the ropes of putting us out of here. We was on the... Let's talk about... We was Muhammad Ali on the ropes right now. And we said, slip, slip, counter punch, game over. Now it's time for extra time, of course. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be a PK shootout. We'll have to see. Yep, it is. Wow. Okay. Um, I think I'm going fifth. So, damn, they let you actually change this now. I want to go third. I'm going to go third. Um, damn, we really don't have the greatest penalty takers, but forget it. I feel good about it. And um, let's get out here. I'm going third, so it's kind of in a... Damn. Sheffield, bro. They just stepped up and hit that one like nothing. McNair, probably one of our lowest PKs. And a beautiful shot. Exactly what you needed. I am kicking third, so hopefully I can come up here. When we're in Good save! And, oh, he's making it. Eyes closed. I know he's making it. Come on. Come on. Come on. And if we make this next one, we could possibly... Save, save, save. Ah. All right, Frank. Top right bins, everybody. Damn! Wow, he actually tore that one up. Archer. No, I think this could be bad, everybody. Azaz. And if he makes this one, Middlesbrough is out of the Carabao Cup. We're not supposed to win these things, but... Oh my gosh, bro. That's how we end it too? That little weak ass kick. Whatever. Whatever. I don't even want to see the celebrations. I'm done. I'm done. Look at this finish right here again from Trusty. Man, that was pacey. That was pacey right there. Off the boot. Look how fast that ball's flying. Keeper doesn't even know where it's going. He's looking, looking, looking right by him. Game over. So, you know what? You can't really do anything about it. I'll see everyone when it's time for the greatest match of the episode. The one against Chelsea, and the one, let's see right now, while we have it recording, what Chelsea is. Top 10 in the table. A win against Chelsea could put us towards the top, maybe even in top 10. I'll see everyone when it's time, and when these boots aren't clicking in the back. A disgusting loss in the Carabao Cup due to PKs. Jesus Fabianski just did not turn up, I'm not gonna lie. Um, he didn't show up, he didn't make his PK, and I truly do believe that was the momentum mover. If I made that PK, maybe we would have won, but we have to come out here, play against Chelsea, and make sure to get this victory. Live from the Roadside Stadium, I'm pretty sure it's called. Middlesbrough, it's that time to get that victory. Against Chelsea, I mean, come on, this is, a, this is a huge club. Huge club, and already Enzo getting a great interception. And Cuckoo, Angelo, who they got? Enzo, I almost said Enzo Ferrari. And Cuckoo already looking for the goal and a quick back heel. All right. Um, Jesus Fabianzi has his hands full this match, for sure. I've never seen that guy before. Jackson must be a player they picked up. A beautiful back heel. Look at this pass right here from Nkuku. Crazy back heel, just sizes him up and passes to his man wide open. Wow, Jackson, he might even be an American. Uh, look at the touch from Jesus, keeping it in bounds. This is Raheem Sterling. Is this Raheem? It is Raheem. Go at him, go at him, Frank. Get on side. There it is. I gotta get better at those crosses. Gotta get it down. Too much pace on it. Damn! Bro, Jackson is playing. Both sides of the pitch. He's diving in, getting the ball. And then look at him now. Ball on the boot, moving it. Me not locking him down. And I'm pretty sure that's Guerra going out there to make the play. 
Raheem Sterling looking to get clamped. Angelo. There it is. We gone. Damn. Thank you. Ricardo. That dude's a beast. Um, I'm not going to lie. He put me to the floor fair and square. I'm glad the ref saw something else, though. Because it did not feel fair and square. Come on, Housen. Gilbert, come on. Turn me up, turn me up, turn me up. One more. Dang. I don't want to call for it too much because I want him just to kind of play, but I might have to call for it right there in the midfield. Right outside the box. That's my shot. We've seen Jesus Fabianski whack those with no issues. So hopefully he can continue to do so. Look at the defense, man. Quick press from Jesus. What are they talking about? Over the top. Got him. What a touch. Go. Oh, almost. Almost. Good block. It's going to have to be a really good play here on this cross from Jesus. Good amount of power. Sized it up. And a good header. Come on, man. You've got to finish that one for me. I'm juiced up and I'm ready. I'm excited. Hopefully everybody has enjoyed the video so far. And if you tuned in, drop something down below that you would like to see in the next episode. And I'll try my best to bring in your way. Maybe a mod or anything like that. I'll see if I can bring it your way. And here they go. And Koku. What? Roberts, what a save. Best keeper we got. I thought Nkuku was going to make that pass with no issues. And he did, of course. But, I mean, it's the finish that we need to worry about. Jackson looking for a second goal today already. And life gets it out of the box. End of the half. 1-0. And if we don't start picking up a win, that'll be three losses in a row. And trust me, the gaffer would not be happy about that one. And neither will Jesus. Close down! Close down! Bro, these dudes, man, they playing like traffic cones. They just standing out there. It said, uh, uh, pass through the cones to complete the drill. Those are my teammates. What a touch! Jesus, baby. Got him. Got him. Got him again! What a move! Let it fly! Damn! So far, Jesus seems to be the only one really doing some work. Let's put this ball up high. Go and get it. Go and get it. Finish! Ah, handball? What's the call? Dang, bro. It's like you think it's going to be something beneficial, but it's definitely not most of the time. Playing against Chelsea, the refs love Chelsea, I swear. West London stand up. But man, like I like Chelsea, me personally. I'm not a fan of Chelsea, like that's not my club I support. But if it wasn't Arsenal, it would be Chelsea. I like West, I like West London, you know? I like West London. Because Raheem Sterling is one of my favorite players, so it's kind of tough to see him miss those free kicks because I know what he's capable of. And it's definitely more than that. One last substitution here. Azaz coming off the pitch and Jones coming on. Get it away, get it away, good job. Let's go, Roberts. We have a good chance to get scoring a goal here. Come on. Good touch, Jesus. Quick. Already looking for the goal. Raheem Sterling on his heels, though. It's going to be tough. I think this is Carrera. I'm not even sure who the man is. Ah, give it away. What a pass. Got you, got you, got you. No, 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 no. Why? Why the back heel? We put this man in, and he's already making bad plays. Bro, he ruined the whole game for us right there. Right then and there, bro. Look at Raheem. Coming down the pitch now, looking for the goal. And here it is, a quick pass to Nkuku. And of course, wow, that was disrespectful. I'm not sure if it was offside or if it didn't count. But thank Christ they spared us of the 2-0 loss. At least we could say it was close. We could have got him with the draw. <laughs> pass off with the draw. But of course, Middlesbrough now with the third consecutive loss. Carabao Cup. Last week, I'm pretty sure we played, I don't even remember. I think it was Brentford, maybe, we lost to. And then this week, of course, Chelsea. So it's not looking too good for the team that was just promoted to the Premier League. But we have a lot of games ahead of us. Pretty sure we have 30 games ahead of us. So imagine if we go on a 30 win streak. We could become one of the best teams to ever come out of Middlesbrough. All right, everybody. I'll see you all back at the main menu with the recap and the outro. Next episode, we will see Jesus Fabianski get ready in the Italian kit. Also, our very first match a top of the table affair. Ashton Villa did take two losses, or two draws, excuse me. Still zero losses on the season. So hopefully next episode, we will give them their first loss. Let's jump over here to the squad hub and see exactly how Jesus Fabianski stacking up. So in this episode, four matches worth, 
We ended up getting um, Leith, another goal. Jesus Fabianski, another goal as well, and another assist. I mean, he's turning up right now, and let's actually go take a quick look at the players of the whole stats. Why don't we, huh? Let's see. Jesus Fabianski, top 10 in goals, and he is nowhere near the top. Top 21, so he's top 25 in assists. Definitely going to have to get those up. Looks like three is the number one mark, so, hmm, interesting why I don't. You know what I'm saying? Why well, I'm not at the top of the table. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, it was Frank on the pitch with Jesus Fabianski and FC Middlesbrough. Stay safe, everybody. Peace out till next time. And I'll see everyone in the next episode.